Babur the first Mughal emperor, was a descendant of Genghis Khan and Tamer Lane. Babur succeeded his father as ruler of the state of Fargana in Turkestan when he was only twelve, although he was swiftly deposed by older relatives. Babur moved into Afghanistan in 1504, and then moved on to India, apparently at the invitation of some Indian princes who wanted to dispose of their ruler. Babur disposed of the ruler, and decided to take over himself. He captured the Turkic Guraiyati Sultanate of Delhi in 1526, imposing his rule on most of northern India. The empire he founded was a sophisticated civilization based on religious toleration. It was a mixture of Persian, Mongol, and Indian culture. Under Babur Hinduism was tolerated and new Hindu temples were built with his permission. Trade with the rest of the Islamic world, especially Persia, and through Persia to Europe, was encouraged. The importance of slavery in the empire diminished and peace was made with the Hindu kingdoms of southern India. Babur brought a broad-minded, confident Islam from Central Asia. His first act after conquering Delhi was to forbid the killing of cows because that was offensive to Hindus. Babur may have been descended from brutal conquerors, but he was not a barbarian bent on loot and plunder. Instead he had great ideas about civilization, architecture, and administration. He even wrote an autobiography, The Babur, Nama. The autobiography is candid, honest, and at times even poetic. Babur was followed by his son Humayun who was a bad emperor, a better poet, and a drug addict. He rapidly lost the empire. He did eventually recover the throne but died soon afterwards after breaking his neck falling downstairs. While Humayun was certainly disastrous as a ruler, his love of poetry and culture heavily influenced his son Akbar, and helped to make the Mughal Empire an artistic power as well as a military one.